What's up everybody? Welcome to this new video. What you're about to see is a quote-unquote day in the life of some of my current activities uh, with everything that we are doing with self-built systems and the companies that we are working with and I'm on my way to V8 Media. Jean-Dre and Vikas from V8, we've recently structured a deal um, and some things that we're helping them with internally inside of their company. I will talk about this a little bit later uh, when the results are due and we'll share some case studies and we'll share some things on that end. But anyways, what you guys will see today, I will be taking you guys with me through some of the flows, some of the processes that I'm engaged with. And this right here is one of the first processes. I wake up early in the morning, consistently between like four to five, depends on how late I go to bed. Then yeah, I structure my things as it is, meaning I just wake up, I do some deep work, and then I only have coffee for three hours after waking up. So it's usually around eight o'clock that I'll have like a coffee or a cappuccino, just get some caffeine into my system. And then I'll hit like round two, right? But then round two is a little bit different because then I'll be doing a lot of self-built systems related work and obviously paying attention to our clients and the consulting deals that we currently have running. What we're going to do is I just decided to take you guys on this walk because I always walk this route because I stay like 500 meters away from the V8 offices where I'm on my way to now. So it's just very convenient for me to just allow myself to think when I'm not videoing, I can use this time to also get some morning sunlight and biohack myself and get myself ready because of obviously I'm moving, we're getting fresh air and the early morning sunlight kind of situation. So we will be linking up with uh, Timon and my videographer guest. We're going to be meeting up with him later this afternoon because we're flying to Cape Town to go to the one of the biggest tech events uh, that I will be speaking at and I will also be interviewing a bunch of founders and we will be taking you guys with throughout that whole process there's basically a lot of networking and a lot of opportunities that's really where the real business gets done because you get to meet new people you get to see what is out there and you also get to uh, put yourself out there right you get to surround yourself with the right people and that allows you to keep growing and keep building but we're gonna obviously take you guys with us show you everything show you some of the fun stuff that we're gonna be doing so yeah What's up guys? So as I said, uh, we are here at the airport and we're going to link up with Timon. Uh, we're going to catch the flight. Our flight is leaving at 8. We're going to fly to Cape Town and the event is tomorrow, probably from like 8 to 12, which we're going to be very much busy with things. We're going to take you guys with, we're going to show you everything. And then the day after that, we're going to connect this into one video where we are specifically, uh, I'm going to be on stage. I'm going to be uh, talking with uh, the CEO of this event basically, but we're going to be talking uh, everything around systemization and really everything that we're doing with sample systems and on that perspective where we're going to be again talking about systemization scaling AI and all of the uh, systems related components when you are basically looking to scale your business so if you're doing anywhere between like six to like seven to eight figures there are some things that you're going to be paying attention to and those are the things that we're going to be unpacking let's go say hello to Tim and let's hop on this flight um, so yeah, you guys know who this is. I don't have to introduce him. Um, so yeah, what's going to happen is I'm actually going to be sitting down and the first day I'm going to be sitting down with Tim and we're going to be talking a lot about, you know, his perspective on uh, the creator economy, what he has been able to build um, and how he's been able to blow up on social media and basically be everywhere all the time. Um, you guys know his work. So that's what we're going to do. There's also a fair few other people that I'm going to be talking with on the first day. So yeah, let's, uh, we'll see you guys that time let's catch this flight and um yeah we'll we'll see you guys in Cape Town. Bye bye. Yeah we're gonna go to the Grand West and we're on at around 9 to 11 or 12 and from 12 we're gonna just go explore uh, into Sea Point Cape Town uh, the kind of area green point um, go to the gym get a workout like uh, 620 meters and the Uber is here so then we can actually get to work. We 
basically just checked in, uh, got our media passes and some things that we're obviously going to be doing here. Uh, obviously for the first day we're going to be the box. Um, I'm going to show you guys what the box looks like in a few. Uh, it's just at the back where we're going to just be sitting down and having these interviews uh, with different people, some tech founders, um, some uh, entrepreneurs, etc., which we will be talking to. We're going to be, you know, just taking you guys around, showing you guys what the place looks like. And yeah, we're going to take it from there because I will probably sit down for the initial open ceremony or not. I don't, I'm not even sure what time it is. And then we're gonna just going to take you guys around because we're going to be sitting down at the box now now. And then we're going to be obviously just, you know, going through the legalities of things from 9 till 11. So we'll keep you guys updated on that note. Hello and welcome guys. Welcome to this new video and we are at the SA Innovation Summit for 2023 uh, and I'm sitting here with uh, Timon Creek. Uh, obviously, uh, I've done uh, multiple talks with Timon and you guys know that we're doing business and stuff together. But the reason why Tim uh, is here with me today is because number one, we are live streaming. So whether you guys are watching this on the live stream or whether you are seeing this uh, as a post-production video, uh, either way, what we're going to be discussing today is number one, the importance of number one technology. So looking in terms of like social media and how that fits into this world. Uh, that we live in right now, the importance around it. We're going to talk about the creator economy, um, the actual posting of content, why that is important for your personal brand, for your for your business, etc. So yeah, uh, welcome Tim. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me. Cool. So we're it. yeah excited to be here, man. We're in Cape Town, um, South Africa, uh, specifically the location. Well, Cape Town, South Africa. Um, but anyways, so we're going to jump right uh, to it, and we're going to get into the. Uh, into the meat of things because I want you guys to understand Timon uh, on social media uh, where we are right now in the new world Tim has basically built uh, an audience of 2.7 million in less than 40 months and that is across multiple different platforms mainly obviously like TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook etc. So Tim my, my first question to you is yeah. like this whole thing the creator economy yeah why, why, why is it important like, for people to be paying attention to, whether you're a business owner or an entrepreneur or just someone that wants to be famous? Like, what is that like? What's your take on that? Why is that important? Um, well, you actually kind of answered the question within, within your question. The key there is attention, right? That's, that's key. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to run a business and you want to make sales, there's always going to be two components. You need a product or service. You need something to sell and you need people to actually buy the thing. So you need traffic. Yeah. And so the times we live in now, attention has fully shifted online, socials, yeah. right? And it's affected pretty much every industry known to man. I'm pretty sure if you look at stats based on how many people had Netflix subscriptions and watch TV and dish and television and all of this stuff yeah. five years ago compared to now, it would have decreased massively simply because the attention span is no longer on television. People no longer read newspapers. People don't watch the news. Everything is on social media. And I mean, it's affected everything. Even musicians nowadays, there's so many days where I would hear a song on TikTok or Instagram and I will hear it on the radio and I'd be like, damn, this is a TikTok song. Like I've heard this on TikTok yeah, before, yeah. which is a crazy analogy because back in the day, I would know the names. I would know the artist, the song name. Now I just refer to it as a TikTok song, yeah. which is pretty crazy. And yeah. that's just a simple industry. I mean, even actors, I don't know any new upcoming actors anymore. Back in the day, I would know all the names of all the movies yeah. because that's where attention was. Yeah. And so if you think it's affected all of these industries, one can only imagine when it comes to running business and sales and stuff, if the mm. attention is no longer there, well, you need to capitalize on where attention is now, which is on social media. So I think it's probably one of the most profitable things you can do at this point yeah. in time. Got it, man. So what I, what I want to quickly unpack there, and there's a few things, is like the direction uh, which we are moving in, obviously, as business owners, as you know, people that are really aligned with the technology and utilizing the technology. We all use a cell phone, we use computers, mm -hmm. we use these things to enable like automations or to enable like systems between things that we do. But my point here is the, the attention economy or the, the attention awareness. Like the reason why the attention is so important is because like you said, it has shifted. Like as the technology curve shift, as things shift, 
Like attention really is uh, the new oil of the world as it's been said. But also like I've, I've actually talked about this on my YouTube channel where I talk about intent based data, but I will leave that conversation for another time. But this latches onto the whole effect where like attention uh, is uh, the new oil of the world. And when I say yeah. that is specifically because we can look at all of, like Tim said, like all of these platforms, right? Like, like the Netflix, like all of these things, people, uh, it's no longer, people no longer care about someone uh, being like a, a known actor, right? That's like you said, 100%. like it's about people understanding where the attention is and how that intention is actually monetized. Because the, there's this saying, I, and if I misquote it, I, I will correct myself, uh, post-production, but basically it, it's in terms of like, the people who obviously control the, the, the attention, they control the minds, quote unquote, of the people, right? We've talked about this a lot, mm -hmm. but it's literally just, it's understanding that the reason why social media is so important from my perspective um, and from a content posting perspective is because uh, of like, we, we all have to deal with people. Like you said, we sell, if you have to sell something, we have to utilize multiple different tools, right? We have to utilize the technology that is at our disposal. So if you're looking in terms of the leverage levers that we pull, which is code, content, media, uh, capital, uh, and people, those things have to be deployed. But now I want to ask you, this rolls into my next question. The actual posting, let's start with organic content. Mm. Like, why is that important? Like, why should businesses be focusing on doing that actually? Because yeah. we, we have this conversation all the time. It's like, uh, you, you know, but it's simply based on like, why that is important and yeah. how, why people can't really do it themselves or can't yeah. figure it out or... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's pretty profound and it's so fascinating to me that there's, a, there's such a big lack of education on this topic and I think most people and business owners don't understand this. But the evolution of social media and how things have changed is pretty profound because there's been this monumental shift in the way these platforms work. So back in the day how these platforms worked is your, your content would be typically pushed out to your existing audience, right? So if you had a thousand followers slash subscribers, whatever term you want to use, and you post a video, let's say, the probability of your video getting more than a thousand views is almost zero because it was capped to your audience. The same on Facebook. If you had a thousand friends, you post a photo, you will never get more than a thousand likes because why? You're capped to your audience. So social media platforms everywhere was following a friend-based model. Content was being pushed out to friends. It's five to nine and they said that the opening is at nine. So let's go and look what it looks like inside. I've met some, uh, I've met some people, had, had a cool introduction to someone that's seen some of our work actually on LinkedIn, which is very interesting. But um, yeah, obviously we'll share all that stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go check it out. stage uh, of the SA Innovation Summit uh, where we are going to be, I'm going to be sitting down and I'm going to be interviewed by the CEO, uh, Bantu, and we're going to be talking about uh, scaling, systemization, AI, everything that we basically do uh, with the companies uh, that we work with. And you guys know that basically uh, we've only recently stepped into the market where we've been talking to a lot more South African based companies. A lot of the stuff that we've been doing has been with companies uh, from abroad. but. We have felt the need to basically also look into our immediate uh, market here in South Africa. So uh, come with me, join me, and uh, I might be doing like a few push-ups before the set, uh, just uh, to to get the energy going, to get uh, yeah, to get everything flowing. So, uh, all right, let, let me hit you. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Welcome on board, Jay.
when we get into this business world um, and we have an idea, we first, again, we need to validate the idea whether it's something that the market at this moment wants. Like, if the market doesn't want that thing, you could be throwing so much money at the thing and, you know, it, it just will not work. But at the end of the day, it's like justifying that based on what the market wants. So if we look at it in terms of like simple base steps, it's starting there. It's like understanding that if we have a message, if we have a certain something which we want to share.